Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you and many more. Thank you. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you can find all the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time I sing happy birthday to Joe, you'll be alerted to it. It is December 6th. Yay! Back at the vlogs. I'm so excited. So uh, I have to show you something. Mm -hmm. So we have we have two of the three baby chickens are now laying eggs. So excited. And when they first start laying, they lay what's called pullet eggs. They're, they're super they're, tiny. Their reproductive system is still yeah. developing. They're doing the best so they can. So we're getting can. these little tiny green eggs. But leave it to Joe and Rachel to have an Easter egger mm -hmm. who's not giving me green eggs. Like, I was expecting three different chickens to give me three, three different, different colored, colored eggs. eggs, along with all our brown eggs. I'm so sorry. And man. now we have somebody, I think it's the black one. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, you know, the one with all the pretty colors and the Phoebe. black. I, because yesterday, when I was preparing our prime rib, which was delicious. It was so stinking good. That's going to kind of be lunch today. Yeah. Because we're having, we're going out for a staff Christmas party for dinner. But... Phoebe was in the entrance way to the nesting box. And even though they will not go sleep in that coop at night, they are using the same nesting box, which I'm, I'm super happy about. So I don't have to scavenge the yard to look for where are the babies laying their eggs. But honestly, I did not think that that would be the case. Well, one of them still isn't laying. So she may be, you know, putting them somewhere. I, I'm going right. to have to start looking. I mean, they've only been laying these eggs for a week. But she was sitting in the entrance to the coop, hollering like you thought it was a rooster. Well, because look they, at me. They have to say like, look, look what, what I, I did. did, right? And then I went in, and there's this little brown egg in there. So, uh, yeah. So it's December six. We're gonna go back into vlogging. Uh, we're not doing the road back anymore, but we are pretty much doing the same thing. We're just not doing it as a series. Instead, we're focusing this month on ho 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 let's just stay keto because yes. that is that is the message this month and i love that because we're doing daily vlogging again mm -hmm. you'll see if we introduce something new back yep. and you'll also see what happens the next day yeah so yesterday we ate prime rib it was a good day and then after that i did not take any pictures but i was still a little hungry later on because we ate at like 3 30 and then somewhere around eight o'clock, I'm like, I'm a little hungry. So we, we, made, we had hot dogs left over from the camping trip. Mm -hmm. So we made two of the Sabrettes hot dogs and then I covered them with our chili. I used that was the keto chow chili recipe. Very good meal prep idea. That was really good. So I made some chili later. There's a little bit of prime rib later. And then we have our staff Christmas party tonight. But before we do that, we have to do our advent calendar present for well, each other. Breakfast, by the way, two eggs. Some of our homemade bacon. I ate one already. We have coffee with one tablespoon of butter a piece and then one egg split between the two of us. And the egg that we got, uh, even though we have a whole bunch of eggs, yeah, uh, it happened to be the one that just came out of the chicken's butt. Like <laughs> I went out there, grabbed eggs, put it in here, and that's the one I grabbed. I actually ne need to check on my friend. She was getting her first couple of chickens yesterday i just want to see how how did it go you ready yeah there you go there's a lot of movement going on in here i didn't like number the bags so it's just like whatever comes comes this is not five dollars we got something that's five dollars or less walk this way i thought that was funny 
And it's a dishcloth scrubby with avocados on it. Well, you'll definitely know. Joe! Why are you giving me this on your birthday? Oh my goodness, how beautiful. I love, what is it? It's not fake jewelry, I love Rachel jewelry. It's gotta be big and blingy. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It's poinsettias. Oh my goodness. The best way for me to celebrate my birthday is Man, to give you presents. Man, you're, you're a stinker. I am not a present getter. I a present love presents. Giver. You love presents. But Thank even like you. Christmas, on Christmas, my my presents from everybody like pile in front of me and then I want to go off in a corner and open them. And I get yelled at because everybody wants this. And I understand, like I'm, I'm robbing them from their blessing of giving yes. me the present. But I, I enjoy giving presents. Where has the day gone? It has absolutely flown by. It's 5.30? It's actually 5.46. Wow, like, wow, the day has flown by. I did get my nails done. Let me see. As you requested. Thank you. It was a really nice, it was a new place, $40. Where are you going to, Lauren? I know. Just go back to the place that we went to. We knew they did a good job. But. I, I got a new nail tech. Her name was Lynn. And we talked the whole time. We had well, a really good. wonderful experience. So I enjoyed that. And she actually used the right, like the tools. She didn't just rip things <laughs> off my hands. So hi, Lynn. Appreciate you. So yeah, it's I've just been working on videos. John Paul stopped by. It was a nice How surprise nice. to say happy birthday to me. So what did you get over there? Oh. You look like you got a whole bunch of stuff for the gift exchange. We did. So we're supposed to stick to a $25 limit. I'm not always great at that. I want to make sure that people, you know, enjoy what they get. Then you so. yell at me for spending more than $5 on your, like, you know, I know. stuff for the advent calendar. For anybody else. They can have whatever they want. So um, this is like a cold brew um, coffee maker for Mr. Mm -hmm. Coffee. It was on sale from $35 to $24, which I thought was good. And it came with a free like Tarani, which of course I got the sugar free. They had all kinds of different varieties, but this was the French vanilla was the only one that was sugar free. I'm gonna try to do my part. Right. And then I got um, a bag of well, that's cool. Starbucks holiday blend. So I thought that was a nice little gift. We're also um, for yours, because we, we, we're bringing two gifts. Right. Um, we have a cooler mm -hmm. that, that we're going to, to give away. And I found a toy fish that you put it into water and it looks like it's alive. And I thought that was the, the best of both worlds because I knew you were joking about like getting a pet. Like, Not really. But I would have gotten a hamster. But. Th this way it's fun without it actually being a pet responsibility. So we're gonna eat a little bit because it's a staff Christmas party and they usually do have something there for us, but oh, yeah. I always feel guilty eating a whole bunch of, you know, they'll get like a chicken breast that, you know, isn't covered in breading and stuff like that, but there's only X amount and my thing is- Somebody is else might want some. I wanna eat a whole bunch of that because I can't eat the pasta and all the other stuff. So generally when we go to these things, we eat a little something ahead of time and mm -hmm. then if there isn't anything to eat, we're good. Like I'm there for the fellowship, to hang out with our friends, to have a good time at the staff party. And if we start out the night and I'm eating this, I am not gonna be feeling deprived at the party because this is super delicious. So yeah, we're just eating the rest of the prime rib from yesterday. Uh, I gave Rachel a big giant piece Thank and I you. took a little piece because it's the end and that's like my favorite part. That's mm -hmm. got like all the smoke flavor. I like the crust on there. And then I'm having some more of our keto chow chili because I love this stuff. Now there's no vegetables in here. I did it basically meat only. When I made this, it's the recipe that we've made. I'll put a link for that up here. But the only thing that's in there is bacon, uh, ground beef, ground pork, a couple of scoops of the tomato basil cheap keto chow, some spices, and I didn't have any beef broth left, so I used the chicken broth. But Works you know great. what? It'll work with water as well. I yeah. just like adding in some of that meat flavor, but I didn't put any onion in here. There's no peppers in here or anything like that. I am finding though, a lot of times when I eat this chili, the next morning I wake up a little bloated and I think it's the chili powder because probably. you know it's probably just the spices. Does that mean I'm not eating it? No, I'm gonna eat it every single day <laughs> because I love it. 
and all that happens is, is, you know, I get maybe a little bloated and within an hour of me waking up, we get like bathroom pyrotechnics and I'm back to normal. Now, while you were gone, I was working in the front room, which is why I'm covered, covered in, in white. white stuff. Uh, now I'm using the wet sponge. So there is no dust. Well, I was going to say, there's no mess all over the floor. So I didn't know what you were doing. But That's there's nice. drippings of white stuff from the sponge because... It took me a while to realize, hey, you know, you have a bucket in the garage. Instead of taking the sponge, wetting it in the kitchen sink, and then coming back, and then when you have to wring it out, bringing it back to the kitchen sink, just have a bucket of water there. I completely forgot I had a bucket. But it is working. There's a couple areas where I will have to use a regular, you know, drywall sanding sheet. But we will not use the electric sander the way Anthony did and throw drywall dust everywhere. Whatever you do... You're on cleanup duty. The goal is to get it all painted by the end of the week, and then I can hang up the um, the sound panels, and the only thing that will be left in that room is having our friend come and do some granite work. I'm because excited in the that. windowsill, I have to raise up the piece, because I wasn't gonna do that originally, mm -hmm. and now I've decided to just make the entire windowsill a piece of stone, and so I have to raise it up like three inches, I'm going to just put a board there. It's going to be so pretty though. Let him come in because he's just going to, we're going to find some kind of remnant stone. I don't care what it is. So long as it's like a neutral color, probably gray, put that in there. And then he's going to come and cut and finish it all. And, and I'll be really happy. Then we can move on to the real mess maker. The kitchen. Do the kitchen. But when it comes to the granite, you know what my favorite color is? What? The color on sale. Yeah, absolutely. Now, when John Paul was here, because John Paul's an electrician, and right now he is in between jobs. He he left his old job and he's starting a new job. So for a couple of weeks, I'm so glad he decided I'm gonna take some time to be able to relax. And he's working with a friend of his, like on side jobs. I was gonna say he's probably gonna make more money, you yeah. know, doing like side work than a regular job. Well, he was in here, and I was like, hey, when I redo the kitchen, since I'm I, I'm gonna have exposure to walls and stuff. Can we add some more plugs over here because we have all the appliances yeah. lined up over here? And he's like, you know, your kitchen's not to code. And I'm like, well, I figure that. The house was built in like 1975. Really and the code was very different. And he's like, well, code in a kitchen is you're supposed to have an outlet every four feet. Hmm. And there is one outlet on this entire wall, which you from the from the refrigerator over, you're looking at like 18 feet. But you gotta think back to like the 60s and 70s when this development was was built. Yeah. I mean, people didn't have all of the small appliances that we have. Right. I mean, the same thing. It was like, we've had to do so much to our duct work for our air conditioning because air conditioning was an afterthought. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know how you lived in South Florida with no air conditioning. My parent, my grandparents did it. My father grew up in Florida. My parents, my, my mom grew up in Florida. I think marriages that survived no air conditioning in South Florida are just extra. <sighs> Hashtag couple goals. <sighs> wow, this was a great gift in the gift exchange, Joe. <laughs> This is dinner tomorrow. So this is a chuck roast. And I've covered the entire thing on salt. A lot of people keep asking me, like, how do you salt brine? Right. It's very simple. You're going to take your piece of meat, steak, a roast, whatever, and you're going to cover the whole thing with coarse salt. Don't worry. It doesn't make it really salty. No, you're gonna it doesn't. You're going to see the salt is almost going to be all gone tomorrow. You can kind of wipe off any salt that's left when you get ready to cook it. But you cook, you cover the whole thing with salt, and what you can see how it's pulling the moisture out. It's going to really tenderize this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put it onto like one of these cookie cooling racks. Mm -hmm. It's the only use of a cookie cooling rack in a house that doesn't eat cookies. It's like when you use the mashed potato thing for like the cranberry sauce. Yeah. Then you're going to put it on top of a tray because you want airflow underneath it. And then you're going to stick this in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours. Don't worry, the salt is preserving it, so it's not going to go bad. And the longer you let it go, the better it's going to be. So I usually do like 24 hours. And then I'm going to cook this like a brisket. Cook it like a brisket. So it's base, it's a really fatty piece of meat but it really goes best when you low and slow it. A lot of people cut this into um, like stew meat. Mm -hmm. We got no stew meat with our cow on purpose. You know, right. one of the great things about it was the butcher's like, what do you want? How thick do you steak? You want your steaks? That and I was told him, really nice. I want one and a quarter to one and a half inch steaks. 
I don't want any stew meat because we don't really eat much stews because for me, stews gotta have potatoes and carrots and onions and I don't want any of that. So everything was cooked and put into roasts, steaks, or ground beef because that's what we want. And right. that was what the nice thing about having the whole cow come in because we got to choose everything we want. So we're gonna cook this on the smoker tomorrow like a brisket, Smoking low and like slow. Like a brisket. And it's supposed to be like almost like a poor man's brisket. So I'm excited about feel, having this tomorrow. I feel very blessed. I don't feel like a poor man. And this is about four pounds. And I, I wanna say we got like 13 of these. So, you know, we only get two briskets, but we got 13 of these. So I'll take that. I think that. we're gonna be pleasantly surprised with all the things that we can do with roasts. I did want to show you, we actually got these. I love these. And I had ordered a set from my Elfster because I knew my Elfster, like the person that I was buying for. And that person did not have anything on their wish list. Oh, so you got some So of these one of the things I got them was these. So if you like to barbecue, you can even use these in a the house. These are heat resistant gloves and they resist temperatures up to 1400 degrees. I don't try it. Don't well, just touch it. I have literally picked up the hot coals in the Kamado Joe and you don't feel anything. So if you have a fire pit, if you have a barbecue, these things are great. And then they have silicone nubs on them so that silicone you can nubs. grab your meat and all of that, so that sounds really bad, but you can grab the meat and pull it out and then you can throw these in the washing machine. That's really so nice. So that allows you to really clean them. So I'll leave a link for these because they're not expensive. They're like $16 a pair. I like them so much better than a lot of the other gloves. You get, even the silicone gloves, they're great, but they're not super heat resistant. You right. feel the heat, especially when you're working with charcoal and stuff like that. Well, that would make a great gift for somebody. Yeah. For 16 bucks. Barbecue person, this is a yeah. great, great gift. That is awesome. You want to show so, what we got? So this is what we got. This was Joe's gift that he wound up getting in mm -hmm. the gift exchange. Yep. It was a heated gift exchange. So we have a rule that you can steal a gift. Three times. Three times and then the gift is dead. So yep. I was pretty excited. Um, the first gift that was chosen was our cooler yep. that we had brought and, and it, it was, was quickly stolen, 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 stolen. So, so that was really fun. And then the coffee thing was very popular too. It was stolen, a I think it was. That went dead too. I think it went dead also. Um, so this is what Joe got, which was like a bamboo cheese board, which is fine. It's a cheese I mean, board slash cutting board. Yeah, which is nice. I was excited about that. And then I had gotten a giant overstuffed beanbag pillow. Which we did not need. I was very excited about it. And I, I encouraged everybody to steal it. And it did get stolen. And then it got stolen again. And then it got stolen again. And then it was, and then it was dead. So what I wound up with though, I was pretty happy with which was a $15 Starbucks gift card. And another coffee mug. And a coffee mug. But it was one of those, like, what is it, Ray Dunn? Yeah. So I guess somebody collects those. It was too small for Rachel. And it was too small. So someone said, are you really in love with that coffee mug? Because, like, we really like that coffee mug. So I was like, yeah. I mean, if it's not as big as a soup bowl or a Pyrex dish with a handle on it, you know. You just felt bad for stealing from a pastor. I did. <laughs> I did. Stole it from a pastor's wife. I know. And who felt really guilty because she kept stealing. I know, and, and which was so funny. But I, so I was glad that at least I could I could contribute that back. It's yeah. like, yeah, go ahead, have the coffee mug. Uh, so, oh, what did we eat there? So they, it was catered by Carrabba's. Very nice. So most of it we obviously could not eat, but they did have a grilled chicken breast. Yes. That I, it was topped with capers and what I goat thought cheese. was mozzarella. That's what it was. It was goat cheese. So I was talking with, um, Pastor Brian and his wife Cher and they're like, what is this cheese? I'm like, I thought it was mozzarella, but it's very tangy. And you're right. It had to be goat's cheese. It's goat's cheese. cheese. It, was, it was good. She did not like it at all. Oh. Pastor Brian really liked it. I really liked it. You didn't eat the cheese. I, ate I the did cheese. not eat I, the cheese. I have a cheese. lot. I have a lot of meetings tomorrow. Yeah. Though, so I don't want to take a chance. Again, I am down with it. If I know that I'm not going to have, have... We need to retest you still. Yeah, because I'm a little bit scared of it. So right. I haven't been eating it. So Because the last time we were we were on the camping trip, no dice. I'm not yep. trying that. Yep. And then tomorrow, yeah, I've got a big day tomorrow. So I want to make sure that I feel great. I ate a couple pieces of cheese off of the cheese platter. And then we had that chicken. They did have they a had nice... salad and broccoli. But the broccoli kind of, it was like overcooked. And if I'm going to eat broccoli, 
I like my broccoli yeah. crunchy. Right. And so I'm like, ah, and you know, I, I'm at this point in, in my eating lifestyle where I'm not going to eat to just eat. I'm going to eat because, hey, A, I need the energy and I need the fuel or B, uh, or actually, and B, not just or B, and B, it's got to taste good. I'm not going to just eat because like, hey, I bought it. It's there. It's not my last meal. And well, so I figured we already ate. I'm going to eat the chicken. I like that. And we I can pass the broccoli on this trip. are super blessed to um, have a staff that are very sensitive to, to different food yeah. needs. We have people on our staff that are allergic to peanuts. We, we have, have somebody who has celiac. We have celiac. We have other people with different gluten sensitivities. So I like the fact that the way that they just order everything is deconstructed. Yep. So like you putting a salad together and they have every single thing separate, which is really nice. I appreciate that. They had some lovely charcuterie trays, which I know is just such a sweet love note to us and other yep. people who have some special food yeah, issues. Yeah, pepperoni, salami, I ate all that. that yeah. That's just so that was, that me. was really nice. But thankfully I went into this not super hungry because we had that we delicious had nice dinner. dinner. So I had some of the grilled chicken and that was basically it. And some coffee because I'm all about the coffee. <laughs> Always. Uh, before we go out, I got... Your, your got, Black Friday order. I got my Black Friday order from Perfect Keto. I don't even know what you bought. I, so I wanted to show you guys. This is what I bought. Now, we bought this ourselves. They didn't send it to us Are you going to open this up with a meat thermometer? Why not? Is that what's happening? Do you like my new meat thermometer? I have so many of these, it but we keep losing It doubles as a letter them. opener. Well, this one is really cool. This is from a company called Thermal Pen. They make like some of the best quality ones. Uh, but this one has an infrared on the end. Oh, so nice. it's got a meat thermometer like this. Yeah. And then it's also got an infrared. So if you want to know like, hey, is my cast iron pan hot enough to sear? Because you know, you put it on there, you got to really let that thing come up to temperature. And if you put your steak on a not hot cast iron, right. it's not going to sear right. So now you can just take this one little one and see like, let's see, do you have a temperature? Stead finder. 95.3. You're good. Can I just say I absolutely love this jacket. This was a find at BJ's. Yeah. It was super cheap. I want to say it was like $16. And I thought, this is so much better than the ugly sweaters we usually invest in because I feel like you're actually going to wear it. I'll wear it a, a couple times this jacket. So this is what I got. For, so you're curious, like, what did they get What did we people? order? I don't even know what you ordered. So I got a salted caramel base. This nice. is exogenous ketones. Again, exogenous ketones will not help you lose weight. Don't listen to people who tell you you need these to lose weight. They lying. These are good if you need a little bit of boost to energy, if you need some mental clarity, like let's say you got a bunch of meetings tomorrow or you gotta take a test or you know you need to do a cram session. This is gonna help you. It will give you a little bit of energy, but it is a little short lived. You know, you you get that for about an hour and then it goes away. So we like to use them every once in a while. If I'm doing a long drive, my mom sometimes I'll will be these. like, all the grandbabies are coming over. So you know what? Mom, yeah. Grandma wants to be alert. Yeah. So they're good, but they just don't think you need them to lose weight because they're not going to help you lose weight. High ketones does not equate to more fat loss. Right. So I got. Oh, this is not surprising. Well, hey, 50% off when you buy six items. Nola. I got three boxes of the peanut Nola bars. I got three boxes of the Mallow, Mallow Munch, Munch bars. Now, these will chocolate. last us. I, I am good at, um, like, rationing things out. Rachel has always made fun of me for years. She was like, you buy stuff and then say, like, nobody can eat it. I'm like, because I want it to last. Because I'm good. This can sit on my on my cabinet for a month, two months, and I can have one a week or whatever. Yeah, and I blow through things, but so he is very I'm good very at I'm very good at saving stuff. But again, at half price, it was, it was worth it. Like I'll put them in the freezer and they'll last the year. So I got four boxes of those. I got four boxes of Nola bars, because again, $10 a box. I got the peanut butter collagen, peanut butter. I which love is this my stuff. favorite flavor. And I got two of those. Is this a free gift in here? And then we did have a whole bunch, ooh. We haven't tried that. We did. Aww. We do have a whole bunch of MCT powder, so I didn't need any of that. We, we were just low on. We this. were low on the peanut butter. Yeah. I love so, butter. and then this was a free gift. We have to try these keto sprinkles. Super fat keto sprinkles. Let's see. I've never tried these. Me neither. 
This would be ooh, this would be a good mix in in yes, it would. an ice cream. So these sprinkles are vegan, all natural, plant-based, and have no added sugar, free of weird dyes and chemicals. They're naturally colored. Sprinkle them on your favorite ice cream, baked goods, and dessert. There's 24 servings in a bag. A serving size is a teaspoon. Who's only eating a teaspoon Not of sprinkles? This girl. Five calories, three total carbohydrates, but two of those are sugar alcohol. The ingredients are Airy Sweet, which is erythritol and stevia combination. That's that's the deal because you got to combine gotta have them. Have a blend. Tapioca starch, coconut oil, cellulose, natural colors, and citric acid. You want to try these? Yeah, let's try them. This was a free gift. Now I'm gonna like like them and be like I'm not. Now gonna, I, have to order I have to wait till next year. Okay, so that's pretty. I'm gonna show you inside. They're still fun. They're they're not like those super bright ones because no. they're naturally colored. You ready? Mm-hmm. You want to dink it? Dink. dink. Those are delightful. That's nice good. and crunchy. Yeah. Be good on sugar cookies. Like put them on Those top. Those would be fun on sugar cookies. They are not super sweet though. They're not. They're mostly adding like crunch. They're adding crunch. Yeah. I don't know if I'd buy them. They've got enough. I don't know how much they are. I think I would buy them just to have them for birthdays and stuff, like happy birthday, yeah, if you're like making, sprinkles. If you're making maybe it's a, gonna make it really pretty. If you're making, you know, cupcakes or something, yeah. like a keto cupcake with some keto frosting, put Ooh, it on top. Ooh, the just made keto, like yeah, that frosting. something like that. And then add that to like for pizzazz. But I mean, now that you think about it, like what did sprinkles ever really add? Pizzazz and crunch. Yeah. I like the crunch. Interesting, like, this but it was free. It was a nice way to try it without having to buy an entire bag. But that's Thank what. You. We got from Perfect Keto. These things are so good. <laughs> they are so good. He's slightly I, obsessed I, with them. Well, you like that flavor too. Anthony likes those. They're, they taste like a payday. They, they really do. And even these, they're 150 calories a bar. A bar is 12 grams of fat, 6 grams of protein, 12 total carbs, 5 grams of dietary fiber. And then these are really, really low. I, the chocolate to me is the best one. I think they are good too. Uh, one bar is 80 calories, three and a half grams of fat, eight grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, seven grams of dietary fiber. This is great for like kids too. And then, oh, these are made with allulose. There's five grams of allulose in these. This so good that in is what? Box. Three net carbs? I think it's three net carbs, right? So it's what? Five plus seven? 12. Is 12. Oh, so two net carbs. Nice. And then are these made with allulose? I don't even know. Yes, they are. So these also have allulose. And how much allulose is in there? It's always there on we go. some other area of the box. Four grams of allulose, so it's three net carbs. And I'm good taking I don't like to take out the fiber, but I will take out the allulose. You've got a lot of peanuts in these things. Yeah, they're delicious, though. They're so good for that every once in a while. We love them for camping. We love them for road trips, things like that. So up oh, the, the dishwasher done. is done. It's singing. singing a song. The weird thing about that dishwasher is now it's going to open the door. That, like, you, you feel it like you It freaks you out in the morning. You come out, why is the dishwasher Did one of those open? Disneyland ghosts come home with us well, for real? Well, it's doing that to dry the dishes and stuff and get the humidity out Which of is, we need, because Florida. Yeah. And you get that wonky smell if it doesn't, like, air out. Oh, is this a two-day vlog, or are we ending this here? Two days. Two days. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Is it a good morning? If I look tired, I am. <laughs> I did not have good sleep. I was up like every half hour. I was having mm. weird dreams. We didn't watch anything scary. I don't know. I need like Sigmund Freud. Tell me, tell me what my dreams were about. No, you don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna start off our morning simple today. I ate too much cheese yesterday. That's what <laughs> happens when you put cheese in front of me. Um, cup of coffee, tablespoon of butter a piece, one egg split between the two of us. Delicious morning. To Tuesday. Tuesdays are generally a little bit busier. But I would like to spend some time together because my birthday Monday was like super busy. Super busy. So we're going to turn my birthday Monday into I'm claiming Tuesday as my birthday. Well, Today is my birthday now. Well, I know. But you know what? Today is actually somebody else's birthday in our that. family. My brother, my little brother is turning 40 today. I cannot believe. Does that make you feel old? It does. It really, really does. Because it's just like, wow, he's 40. As long as he was in his 30s, like, I felt like I was still attached to my youth. Yeah, I, I mean, I know. I'm old. I'm 51 years old. But I don't ever feel old. Like, I feel like I'm in my 30s. 
until somebody that I knew when they were little. Right. Is all of a sudden reaches an age like, like your son married. turning 21 or they get married or a little kid who you were teaching in church when he was two is now in the elementary room. Right. That's what makes me feel old. So, yeah, it's when you have a brother turning 40, even though you're only five years older, it just... It's like, wait. It makes you feel like really old, that, right? Because I think to myself, the next milestone for each of us is for him to be 45 and me to be 50. So like that, <laughs> that's where my mind goes. Who in your life, as they age, makes you aware of your age? Because we can't be alone in this. The good thing about doing keto and the proper human diet is not only do you start looking younger, but you start feeling young. Yeah, we feel good. So, like I said, it's Tuesday morning. We're going to do a chuck roast. Mm. And uh, we're going to make it like a brisket. Smoking like a brisket. I don't know if I have enough pellets for that. I'm going to, I'm hoping I have enough to at least get me going and I can go to the store and get some pellets. We need eggs too. Keto Chow just came out with these. Super excited about this. We just did a review video for this flavor. I will leave so a link for that up good. there. The air compressor in my garage just turned on. Of course. Of course. And uh, yeah, this is a really, really good flavor. It, to me, it's the perfect gingerbread. But go watch that video. I'm going to actually take another sip. I agree that it's the perfect gingerbread. Because it could have gone the spicy route and I would not have liked it. Yeah. Truly. But this is really good. So what is on your docket for today? I did not partake of cheese yesterday because mm -hmm. I have so many meetings and mm -hmm. things that I have to attend to today. So it's a busy work day on birthday number two for Joe. Yeah. But before we get to like our day, oh. we got to do something very important, which is exchange you know, our advent gifts. I don't know, but I have all of my bags with yours, and you're picking out which bag I get to hand. Are you doing one of these things? No, I honestly am just going to the end of the line wherever it, we've, we've put up our uh, bags in my she shed, Yeah, and I just go grab one. It was so funny last night during the staff Christmas party I watching people leggings. go through. <laughs> wow. You like those? I love them. This is, I like them. I like them stretchy, but I like them firm. Yeah. Like, I want to know they're going to compress some stuff. So I was saying during the staff Christmas party, because it's like, you know, the, the, what, the white elephant gift exchange, people going down, clothes, no. Right. <laughs> there were Socks, a lot of blankets. Underwear. Night. Yeah, but now, you know, we're all older now, so everybody wants a blanket. Yep. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, Look I'm going to start. This is going to be my new slogan. I know. You don't like keto? <laughs> Take, Take a, a hike. hike. It's got the Sasquatch guy on it. I thought it was like the perfect blend. This would be good going to Universal Studios because of King Kong. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought it was a perfect blend of something funny but also camping. I really like that. Well, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Anthony and I just got home from cutting grass, so we're going to go ahead and get the chuck roast onto the smoker. Now, when we were dropping off the trailer... I actually started the rec tech from my phone so that when we got here, it would be up the temperature. We're cooking at 225 degrees. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough pellets to finish this cook on the rec tech. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it started on the rec tech and I'm gonna go get the Kamado Joe Classic up to temperature. That usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes. Once that's up the temperature, we're gonna shift the chuck roast from the Rec Tech over to the Kamado Joe, we're gonna finish it up there. Now I'm figuring this cook is gonna take about six to seven hours to get a nice bark and make it really, really tender. So that's perfect because we actually have to go drop off food for a friend of ours. Um, her and her husband just had a baby and so we're bringing them food and that's at five o'clock. So I'm figuring like we're gonna be done with this somewhere around 6.30, 7 o'clock. So it should be absolutely perfect. What we're gonna do is just season this with a little bit of the Redmond organic garlic uh, pepper. And we're just gonna cover the entire thing. We're gonna stick it on the smoker. We're gonna make sure we get all the sides and then just let it do its thing. You can really see all that moisture coming out from the salt brine. Got my meter probe in, and we're gonna cook this just like a brisket. So we're gonna go for an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Once it gets there, we're gonna wrap it tightly and then go to about 205 degrees. I got a package. This is an air intake system for my truck. So if you've seen any of our vlogs, you know that 
When we tow the RV, gas mileage in the truck, not that great. As a matter of fact, it's gone down. When we first got the RV, I was getting between nine to 10 miles per gallon when I was towing the RV. Lately, it's gone way down. On this last trip, we only got about eight and a half miles per gallon. And again, we're flat. We're not even up in mountains or anything like that. So I know that I need to do a little bit of work to the truck. I probably have to change the spark plugs and that kind of stuff. But one of the things I wanna to do to try to improve the performance of the truck is change out the entire air intake system. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the hood. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this air intake system, this whole thing is gonna come off and we're gonna put the new one on and supposedly it could increase the miles per gallon by about 10 to 15 percent. We'll see how it goes. We're all done and it wasn't too bad. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but that's because the instructions weren't very clear. They basically put a picture and then say, attach this to this using the hardware provided, but they don't tell you what hardware. You really can't tell the picture. So a lot of it was just trial and error. And then I dropped a screw down behind the wheel well and I couldn't find my magnet. You ever have that time where you see something all the time? You you know, it could be a kitchen utensil, it could be something in your office. You see it all the time and then when you need it, you can't find it anywhere. That's what I was experiencing. I know I have a long reach magnet and I can't find it, but I see it almost every day that I go into my garage. So now that this is all done, we're gonna go ahead and start up the truck, see how it flows. Next up is spark plugs, but I'm not gonna do that today because I basically will have to take out what I just did. I kind of worked in reverse order, but this came in and the spark plugs didn't. Okay, we just got back from dropping off the pizza. We had put the roast in the oven just to stay warm. We're gonna go ahead and slice this thing up. You ready? You've got a very high bar, all right? Cause we just saw a baby <laughs> and that baby was super cool. Can this be cool like a baby? Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh baby, oh baby, that looks good. Let's go, we got a lot of juices in there. Let's go ahead and put that into a tray. Look at how it's just separated from the bone. Low and slow. And what kind of piece of meat is this? This is a chuck roast. Huh, I mean it has slidden off the bone. So typically you would make this like with a pot roast or- Oh, oh. my gosh. Bet you could do just like pulled beef. Yeah, that's what you can do with this when you do it like this. Got the meter. Once the bone cools down, I know some madam that'll be very excited about that. Are you ready? So ready. Do you even need a knife? Well, there is a bone here. Oh, wow. So we're gonna come oh. outside where there's no bone. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that smoke ring. That looks amazing. Rachel's in for the taste test. Hook me up. Mmm. Is it tender? Because chuck roast can be very tough and stringy. You see, it's not even attached to the bone. You gotta check it out. It's like a brisket. Yeah. That's got some flavor. Seriously. Like a lot of flavor. Like let's slice this thing up and start eating dinner. How fun was it to see a newborn baby today? It was really good. And they are doing so awesome with the baby. Although she Better was Better like, than us. She was like, I can't believe they let me go home with this thing. I, I felt the same way. When I left the hospital, I'm like, are you guys like really insane? Like you're, you're gonna let me go home with this child. Do you see me? Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's exactly how I felt. Did you feel like that when you brought your children home from the hospital? 
as we were leaving the hospital, I thought to myself, I cannot believe there's not an alarm going off saying like, Rachel does not know what she's <laughs> doing. Why are we letting her go home with this baby? I'm just glad we were able to bless them with some pizza. That's what they wanted. We got them a nice pizza. Some salad. And some salad. And, and then a blankie. We went and got them a blanket because their blanket got stolen during the, the gift, gift exchange. exchange last night. So How you be taking a blanket away from a baby? So that was good. But uh, today was just a super hectic day. We had so much going on. So, I mean, I showed you a little bit about me preparing this chuck roast and, and I changed out the air filter system in my truck. But right now, I mean, the, we're in the process with, the church is in the process of opening up a second campus. Woo! So trying to get all of the kids ministry stuff ready for another campus. Yeah, because we're starting with Zilcho. Right. Nothing, nothing over there. Like I couldn't direct you to a pipe cleaner. I don't know where the popsicle sticks are gonna go. Like, it's even more work than when we moved into the building four yeah. years ago. Cause at least then, we had stuff from when we were a mobile campus and it was just organizing it. Mm -hmm. Now it's go purchase it, organize it, and then figure out how do we do kids ministry in two campuses without having to drive back and forth to two campuses. And I'm trying so much harder to delegate. Yeah. I want to we're be. We're not good at that. I want to be Visa. I want to be everywhere you want to be, right? right? I can't. I cannot physically do it. And so it was interesting as I was putting together some curriculum because what's going to happen is I'm going to put all the curriculum together and it's going to get set up at one campus and set up at the other campus by somebody else. And mm -hmm. so I am trying to make it as clear as possible so that they know exactly where to put what and you know when and how much of a thing would you need and all right. this kind of stuff. Just where to find stuff if you need more things. So it's really challenging. And the thought of not being in control of it, right. not me being the one that's gonna lay out every piece of paper in the future, I started to be like, you know what? I want a donut. That's exactly what I thought. I thought, I want a donut. What? That doesn't even make any sense. You're just stressed. You're worried about the future. Right. A donut is not going to solve anything. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to change anything. The only yeah. thing that eating something like that is going to do is make me feel terrible. Then I've got all the work that I've already got and future concern. I'm not going to say worry because I don't think it's good or helpful at all to just quagmire yourself and worry. But right. just concern for the future. You can have concern, Right. right? but it's not going to do anything. It's right. not going to fix anything right. or solve anything. So you know what? Not going and getting that silly thing that entered my mind. It actually was a blessing today because I thought, okay, there's a lot I'm not in control of, but you know what I am in control of? What I put in my mouth. Yeah. And I chose not to put a donut in it today. So I'm, <laughs> Good I'm pretty, job. pretty pleased. Proud of you. It had not crossed my mind in four years. That's wow. how long. Four years, I never even thought about that. And then all of a sudden it pops up like a whack-a-mole and you have to be like, what? What are you doing? Well, we are going to end this vlog because we still have a lot of work to do. Yeah. I need to edit a video to get a vlog up. And then I need to finish putting everything together for the 12 days of keto. Now this video is going to actually be out after we start the 12 days of keto, but it's going on for 12 days. It's going to be so awesome. So you still have time. There's lots of giveaways, lots of cool things, including a creamy, some good keto chow bundles. Perfect keto. Perfect keto stuff. Lots of things. good. If you don't know what uh, 12 days of keto is, this is where we live stream for 12 straight days and every day we do a giveaway from one of the companies that we really like. So I'm excited about it and the schedule this year is a little different in the past. We used to it do it at the same time, but we have different days where we can't be here at earlier in the day or we can't be here later in the day. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell button so that you're notified for when each day's live stream is gonna go up. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.